Years ago, my father um, was a salesman for National Cash Register, and he was one of the better salesmen for National Cash Register. As a matter of fact, several years in a row, he was the number one salesman for National Cash Register, and he was always in the uh, CPC Club, which is the what they call the uh, Century Points Club or Counterpoints Club, uh, depending upon who you ask. Uh, this was a uh, club for earning to get into the um, level of top sales. Well, even with that, Papa Bruce needed some inspiration. So what he did was he taped a picture of our family, my mother, my brother, my sister, and me, and of course my father in this picture. And up under it he put a tag that said, what you sell today determines what your family eats tonight. And he'd driven around uh, all day long and uh, had, uh, hadn't had a single sale, really hadn't had any um, significant uh, uh, nibbles for his sales presentation, so it was kind of discouraged. He pulled into a parking lot and he was getting ready to go home and he flipped down the visor and he saw that what you sell today determines what your family eats tonight. And that inspired him to go ahead and he had pulled up into a parking lot of a Windy, uh, not Wendy's, a Winn-Dixie grocery store. And he decided, okay, well I'll go in and see if I can do anything here. Well, uh, he went into Winn-Dixie and he asked to speak to the manager and the manager was in his office with another gentleman and they were talking. And uh, they invited him on in to give a presentation. Papa Bruce gave the presentation to the manager about uh, National Cash Register and what uh, National Cash Register could do for uh, Winn-Dixie and uh, that location and help the uh, manager to be one of the best managers in the company. Well, as it turns out, that the uh, other man that was in the room with the manager was the president of the company. And uh, the president of the company was so impressed that he went ahead and signed a contract with Papa Bruce for the largest order that Papa Bruce had ever had at that time. But the problem was that the, at that time the local headquarters for Winn-Dixie was located in Greenville and my Papa was uh, the district sales manager or branch manager over the Spartanburg location. So he was, um, Winn-Dixie headquarters was out of his jurisdiction. And he heard that uh, he wasn't going to get credit for that sale and the commission off the sale because he'd sold it out of jurisdiction. Well, he called the uh, president up of Winn-Dixie and Winn-Dixie instructed, uh, the president of Winn-Dixie instructed one of his local people to go and open a post office box there in uh, Spartanburg. <coughs> and he wrote a letter to uh, National Cash Register that said that for the purpose of National Cash Register, the worldwide headquarters for Winn-Dixie is now this post office box in Spartanburg, South Carolina, that um, for the purpose of any type of sales, it was all to be handled as if um, Winn-Dixie was located in that post office box. And so for years to come, my father got uh, commission off this, that sale. And uh, that's the story of how Papa Bruce got one of his largest sales ever. And uh, we thank you, and we'll see you again next time. This is a Federal Trade Commission required notice. When you click on an advertisement that is displayed with this video, or just before it, we receive a small commission. Sometimes, if you merely watch an ad, we receive commission. If you purchase anything by clicking on links on any of our websites, we receive a commission as well. McClendon Studios is a participant in the Amazon Services LLC Associates Program an affiliate advertising program designed to provide a means for sites to earn advertising fees by advertising and linking to Amazon.